In this video, I'm talking all about the basics of masking. So let's get into it. What is masking? Well, masking sounds like it's quite complicated, but it's actually really simple and it's fundamental that you learn what masking is, why you need it, and what the benefits of using it are inside of Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Essentially, masking is just a fancy way of cropping an image or a video. Of course, though, masking goes so much further than just cropping. You can create some amazing animations using the technique of masking. So let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you what I mean. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. We've got some footage on our sequence. As you can see, this is just some footage of the London skyline. So in order to create a mask, we're going to go over to the effects controls tab. And if you can't see this for any reason, then you want to go into Windows and select effect controls. There should be a tick there. Now from here, we'll go down to, we've got motion at the top here, then we'll go down to opacity and we'll select the free drop bezier tool or in After Effects, this is known as the pen tool. So we'll select this tool here and we're just going to create a mask around this part of the video. So as you can see, I've made all of these different points and it's cropped the video like so. Now, of course, masking isn't just limited to this free draw bezier tool. You can also create a mask using this rectangle tool. So that has created a rectangle mask. Of course, like nothing has happened though because I haven't deleted this first mask. So we'll delete that first mask. And there you go. This second mask has appeared here and it's cropping the video to this rectangle. Let's delete that mask and we'll go over to the ellipse tool. So the ellipse mask and that is going to create this ellipse mask. And of course, you can change any of these points to put this wherever you like. Now we'll delete that mask. We'll go onto the free draw bezier tool. So I'm gonna create a point in the bottom left corner. We'll go to the middle, it will hold down the left button and then we'll just drag this point over to the right. And as you can see, that's adding a curve to this line. Create another point and create another point. So that has created this shape here. Now, if I go back to the second point, as you can see, we've got this line here. If I move this line over to the left, it's adding more curve on the left. And if I pull this over to the right, it's adding more curve onto the right. The same thing goes for if I bring it back in, it makes that straighter and removes that curve. So that is how you would use masking to crop a video. Of course though, you can also use masking to crop effects. So let's delete that mask from the video. We'll go into effects and we'll search for fast color corrector. We'll drag the fast color corrector onto the footage and then in the fast color corrector, we're just going to adjust a few of these settings. So we'll pull this wheel here towards the blue. We will go into the input levels. We'll pull this over. We'll pull this over. Adjust a few of these settings. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're not actually color grading. I'm just going to show you how to use the masks. But once you're happy with the way that looks, you can now go into this pencil here under the fast color corrector. So rather than the opacity, go down to the fast color corrector, that specific effect. We'll select the free draw bezier tool. We'll zoom out just a little bit, so we'll go 50%, and then we'll just draw a mask around the sky. There you go, so as you can see, only the sky now has been affected by that fast color corrector. Of course though, it is a hard edge. If we click out of this, you can see the edge of the effect there. So a way to work around this is to increase the feathering. Now the feathering is basically a fancy way of softening the edge. So we'll go to mask feather, we'll increase the mask feather, and as you can see, we're getting these lines appearing inside and outside that mask. This is basically just saying, this is the range where the feathering is taking place. So we'll just increase this to around 600. And as you can see, that sky now looks really awesome. You can't see the hard edge anymore. Even if I zoom into 150 or 200%, that hard edge has disappeared and only the sky is affected with this color grading effect. Of course though, the problem is if we play the footage, if the camera is moving, then that mask isn't going to travel with the sky, as you can see up here. So this is where we would create some animation to follow the movement. So at around here, we'll go into fast color corrector, mask one, and select this button here. This is the toggle animation button. Select that and that will make a keyframe here. And a keyframe is essentially just a point where it says at this moment in time, this is the value of this position. So basically at this specific time, this keyframe say is saying that the mask is doing this. So if we move over to here, where we can see more of the sky, if we change the value of the mask, so we move this over, we create another point in the middle here to curve around the bench. So we'll create a new point here. 
and we'll move this down to fit the bench. Basically what's happening is it's saying at this point in time, the mask is over here. And then at this point in time, it moves over to here and essentially it animates between those two points. So as you can see, the mask is now moving. Now that is really useful if you want to color grade a specific part of your image. Let's say the sky is overexposed. If you wanted to pull the exposure of the sky down, but not the rest of the image, you would just create some keyframe animation using the masks to only color grade the specific part of the sky. And of course that doesn't just apply to effects. You can crop the image and add this keyframe animation using your masks on your original footage layer as well. So we're just gonna get rid of that fast color corrector for now. We'll go back into cropping the main footage so we'll go into opacity we'll go free draw bezier tool and we'll just draw a mask around this middle part of the video so there you go doesn't need to be perfect now from here you can see we've got our mask path and this is basically just the shape of the mask so again like we did before if you create a keyframe by selecting the stopwatch icon and move over if you change the mask path so up here between those two keyframes that will animate and the mask will move like so. We talked about feathering. Of course, if you pull this down, so stop. So if we move, <laughs> so if we move down, we've got feathering. Of course, if we have that at zero, it's going to create a hard edge. If we pull this all the way up to around 600, then it's a soft edge. Then we've got the mask opacity. So if we pull this down to zero, you can see the opacity of the footage is disappearing. So that's pulling down zero, it's completely gone, 100, it is all the way there. Then we've got mask expansion, and this one is quite useful to know. So if we go minus, so we pull this to the left, you can see it's shrinking inside the mask. And if we go to a plus, so we'll go to plus 300, you can see it has expanded outside the mask. Now this is really useful if you wanted a curved edge. So let's just delete this mask for now. Let's create a little square in the middle. Now, as you can see, by expanding this mask all the way up to around 1000, that square has now expanded and turned into a circle. So essentially, the more you expand the mask, the more that the edges are going to round and off. So if you wanted to create something in between a circle and a square, so a square with these round edges, you would just create a square and then increase the mask expansion to around here. And there you go. That looks really awesome. And there you go. That is the basics of how to mask inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Masking feels like a really intimidating and difficult thing to get your head around, but it's essentially just a fancy way of cutting out a part of an image and just animating that crop. It really is that simple. Now, this is how you do masking inside of Adobe Premiere. You can also mask inside of Adobe After Effects, but there's no real difference between the two. It just looks slightly different. The process is exactly the same. You're just cutting out part of an image, adding some keyframes to animate that mask to follow the movement. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.